There is growing anxiety tonight over the spread of a COVID variant in schools in the Fraser Health region. The BC Teachers Union is calling for school districts to be able to ramp up safety measures, but the province won't let them. CTV Shannon Patterson is the latest from the hardest hit city, Surrey. As students file into Tamanawa Secondary in Surrey, dozens of their classmates are absent. This school, one of seven, where students and staff are now self-isolating after someone tested positive for the UK variant of COVID-19. Overall, we have uh, 10 classes in self-isolation. That includes uh, then 50 staff members on top of that. Um, and all that's about 293 people by, by my count. So it's a big impact on the district this morning. We are very concerned and government needs to act in response to this new set of information. The teachers union says when case numbers spike or variants are detected, individual school districts should have the freedom to move to online learning or mandate masks in elementary schools. It's become very evident that some districts are much more impacted than others. And in fact, even within those districts, some schools are more impacted than others. So why isn't the flexibility being given to the districts? We need to make changes if we're going to make changes based on evidence. Uh, and at the moment, uh, we, we, we need to let this process um, uh, unfold and find out precisely what, what happened. Nearly 300 students and staff in the seven schools that were found to have variant cases are currently being tested for COVID-19. So we'll wait to see the, the full story, which likely will be by Wednesday. Regardless of the results, it seems unlikely the mask mandate will be expanded to include elementary schools. Based on what we know about the new variants of COVID-19, I would not recommend a change in our uh, masking recommendation. And even if they want to, individual schools aren't allowed to go it alone. When a school administrator tries to exceed the mask mandate, for example, they are very publicly told that they can't do that and they, they have to issue a retraction. So there's there's really something wrong here. For now, COVID protocol remains the same for all schools and school districts, whether they have variant cases or not. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Surrey.